well, next month, February 12th, is the start of the test series in the Proteus in Australia. For the first time in many years, Jacques Callis won't be available. And the big question is, who's going to replace Callis? Lots of banter on Twitter. I've got a McLaren right from the start, Ryan McLaren, experienced, he's an aggressive player, he can bat a bit, bowl a bit. And in my view, if you're going to lose Callis, you've got to find something in the bowling department, something in the batting department, and I'm going to go with McLaren there. I think he fits the ball nicely. There's an argument for a specialist bowler, a specialist batsman. Um, Kyle Abbott comes into the frame. I love the guy. He's a hell of a player. He's a Sunfall Dolphins boy. I just think, you know, if you pick a specialist batsman, you're down to three seamers, and that's a bit thin. If the spinner gets clubbed, what do you do? The guy that I'm backing, it has to be Wayne Parnell. You know, I think Parnell, he'll bring uh, so much more variety into the South African bowling attack. I think losing a big guy like Jack Callis, you know, he has been such a, you know, dominant figure for the Proteus for such a long time. And the thing is with Callis, you know, he could bowl, he could bat, and you could always rely on him to do either one of the two, you know. So someone like a Wayne Parnell, you know, he's going to get left arm seamer. I think that's what we're lacking right now. Only the Nobles of Torbay is available in the one-day format. And I think in the test arena, to have somebody like a Parnell who can come in there, you know, just nip it around a little bit. And he's also, he can contribute with the bat as well. So I think for me, Wayne Parnell would be the right guy to replace for South Africa in terms of replacing John Callis. Well, look, I must be honest, I prefer the aggression of McLaren. I think he's a better batsman and even potentially a better bowler at this level, in my view. Um, so at the moment we have two all-rounders here, uh, no specialist. Sean Ryan's joining us. I'm hoping he's going to say he wants a specialist in the team, but I've got a sneaky suspicion he's also going to go with the all-rounder. Um, yes. Personally, I think I, I agree with Andre. I think uh, going with Ryan McLaren is the best option as well. It covers bases. We, we've got that extra bowler. We've got the, the person who, who can handle the bat um, under difficult circumstances. And he's proven himself as well. We, I think if we went for a specialist uh, bowler in particular, we may have to try someone new against Australia, which might not be great. But I think Ryan McLaren's already part of the team culture, and that would be the smart choice, I think. And McLaren has played one test match, was pretty useful against England. He's done pretty well on the one-day side recently. So for me, the man to go for. But as I say, the argument may be there for a specialist batsman, as Dean Fonseil or Dean Elgar, or a specialist bowler, Carl Abbott maybe, Mashanda Langer. But consensus, yeah, an all-rounder. But Max, that one man out. Far now, for him.